I'm Corbin Lancet, and I made this self-balancing reaction. So, this machine is composed of three main parts. The first is this MPU6050 sensor right here. It has both an accelerometer and a gyroscope on board, which allow it to know both its linear and rotational acceleration. It sends all of its readings out to the next part, the Arduino Uno, which is the microcontroller, which does all the calculations needed to run the machine. It takes in the accelerometer and gyroscope readings, and it does a little bit of trigonometry to determine what angle the sensor is at and what speed it is moving at. Then it uses PID controlling, or PID controlling, to decide how much power to give to the motor, right here, which spins at the speed the Arduino tells it to. In addition, since it takes some time for the motor to change its speed, it also sends signals back to the Arduino, telling it how fast the motor is actually spinning, using the onboard Hall Effect encoder. This entire process happens many times a second, and it allows the machine to stand upright, as you just saw. This project works pretty well. As you can see, it stays upright for a decent amount of time, but I did have an attempt before this one that did not work quite so well. This is my first attempt, and obviously it has a lot of differences. The main problem with it is that it has a much higher center of gravity, which means it falls over a lot easier. It also is freestanding instead of having a securely mounted base, which just introduces a lot of variability and instability. This one, however, is not without its problems. It does have no heat problem, so if it runs for longer than about a minute, it will soften the glue holding the wheel to the motor, which increases the accuracy by a lot. Also, this EPU 6050 module is not mounted on very securely, which introduces a lot of instability to the system. As for practical applications, this kind of thing is used in satellites. Lot, uh, especially space telescopes. The James Webb actually has three reaction wheels on board, so it can orient itself in space very precisely without the need for fuel. I had a lot of fun doing this project, and I learned quite a bit, especially about PID tuning. And I am planning on expanding on this project in the future. I want to eventually make a three-axis version, so there will be three reaction wheels inside a cube. So we can do things like stand on a corner, or stand on an edge, or even a corner. Mostly though, what I'm excited about is getting the opportunity to 